As Iowa's perfect season unfolded, there's been plenty of skepticism about the Hawkeyes. But here they are, 12-0, playing for the Big Ten Championship and more. Win, and they're into the college football playoff, no questions. Of course, that's also true of one lost Michigan State. The Spartans will pose by far the biggest challenge Iowa has faced all season long. In devouring Penn State 55-16 last week, they look like the Big Ten's best team. Get ready for the playoff for the playoff. Clemson is unbeaten and has been among college football's most impressive teams. But the Tigers have a little more work to do before we fast forward them into the playoff. In the ACC championship, they'll face a North Carolina team that's hard to figure out. They lost early to South Carolina when they basically gave the game away. And they've won everything else ever since. They've looked really good in the last few weeks. But the resume, which includes two wins over FCS teams, is not great. And so the big question for the ACC is, what happens if North Carolina wins? Do the Tar Heels get in? It seems iffy. Jim McElwain's first season at Florida has been fantastic. The Gators are 10 and two. They won the SEC East, and they've done it with an offense that's anemic, all of which means they shouldn't be expecting an upset of Alabama. The Crimson Tide has been inconsistent this year, relying on Derrick Henry and a big time defense, but it's risen to the occasion when it counted. It's hard to fathom Florida scoring many points against Alabama. It's even harder to forecast an upset, but crazier things have happened this season. So we'll watch just in case. The American Athletic Conference Championship between Temple and Houston will probably determine the group of five's automatic bid to a New Year's Six Bowl game. And it should be a very entertaining clash of styles. Temple brings a tremendous defense to Houston, which has a very explosive offense. Pay attention also to the two head coaches. Temple's Matt Rule and Houston's Tom Herman are two of the hottest names in the country. Herman might end up staying at Houston another year with a new deal, and Rule could still be at Temple too. But either could soon be coaching one of the bigger name programs in the country. Stanford's win over Notre Dame didn't do anything in the Pac-12 race, but it preserved the league's slim hopes of getting a team into the playoff. Don't misunderstand, the Cardinal needs help from elsewhere. But if Stanford beats USC in the Pac-12 title game, an 11-2 record with non-conference games against Northwestern and Notre Dame would look very solid. USC isn't going to the playoff, but the Trojans have played so well that Clay Hilton had the interim tag removed from his title this week. He's USC's new permanent head coach. Fresh off a big win over crosstown rival UCLA, the Trojans could create even more positive momentum for the program by winning their first Pac-12 title since 2008.